Hey, this is World Series champion Johnny Damon. This is World Series champion Cliff Floyd. This is Kevin Newman of the Pittsburgh Pirates. This is a World Series champion Ozzy Guillen. This is Carlos Pena, 14-year MLB veteran. This is two-time NL MVP Dale Murphy of the Atlanta Braves. This is John Clowney, pitcher with the Arizona Diamondbacks. This is World Series champion Joe Musgrove. This is Jordan Luplo of the Cleveland Indians. This is Lance Coach Jimmy Houston Astros. What's up, it's A. Jones of the Buffalo Bills. It's Tyler Lockett of the Seattle Seahawks. It's Hunter Henry of the L.A. Chargers. This was Lincoln Seiko. And when I'm not on the field catching bombs from Russell Wilson. When I'm not on the field catching bombs. When I'm not on the field catching bombs. When I'm not on the field hitting bombs. I'm watching my guys over at Filth Bomb, 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 Filth Bomb breaks off those nasty, 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 nasty Filth Bomb. I know a thing or two about hitting some bombs, fellas, but there's nothing quite like hitting a Filth Bomb with my guys over at Filth Bomb Breaks. Built bomb, built bomb, Mike Trout, 101 Auto. MVP breakers, MVP prices. Keep those built bombs coming, I'll keep those World Series coming. Thanks for making baseball cards fun again. Thanks for making baseball cards fun again, guys. Go Bucks. Thanks for making collecting cards fun again for the kids and for all of us old timers as well. The way to make baseball cards fun again, guys. Keep pulling those nasty built bombs. And pull me a Jose Canseco Super Fractor. And hit me a West Coast Super Fractor. Go Astros. Please pull me a Duplantis Super Fractor. How about you go pull me a Jordan Luplo Super Fractor? And now, introducing from New York, opening packs at the speed of sound. Pulling felt out of cases tightly, the undefeated, undisputed champion of the sports card breaking industry, the Pumpers. It's time for Phil Pump. Hey, this is World Series champion. What's up, everybody? This is Chris Bonanno coming to you from Filth Bomb Breaks tonight. Coming to you from the museum, the Wax Museum, um, and tonight we are going to open up a box or a case, excuse me, of 1968 Hit Parade, and we have got some nice cards in store. 68 was a great year. This is Nolan Ryan's rookie card year. That's right, Nolan Ryan. I believe there's some other rookies in here that are um, pretty good. And uh, definitely, definitely going to be a fun time. Um, let me go over the list. I think, uh, was there a trade involved? I, I might have caught a glimpse of a trade. Um, I don't see it. I can't read it yet. But I believe Dave McSheffrey gave up the Tigers. So let's go over the list real quick. Um, Keith Rondo with the Phillies. We have Dave McSheffrey with the Tigers. Jim Grillone with the Cubs, uh, Dave McSheffrey with the Pirates, Ryan Hudson with the Minnesota Twins, Ryan Hudson with the Cardinals, Hudson with the Indians, we have Dave McSheffrey with the New York Yankees, um, I have Ryan Hudson with the Atlanta Braves, Jim Grillone with the Oakland Athletics, Ryan Hudson with the White Sox, McGinley with the Angels, Hudson with the Giants, Jim Grillone with the Los Angeles Dodgers, we have Mike McGinley with the Houston Astros, Ryan Hudson with the Washington Senators. Uh, Ryan Hudson with the Cincinnati Reds. Mike Waggett with the New York Mets. Ryan Hudson with the Baltimore Orioles. And Ryan Hudson with the Boston Red Sox. With that being said, we like I said, here we have one sealed case of Hip Parade 2019-1968. It is, it is case 15 of 20. You see that it is sealed. We've got Joe Boo in the house. Let's do this. Let's get it open because it takes a while. They pack these things in here really, really, really tight. There we go. There we go. I'm not sure why, but it still shows up as it says I'm live. We got six people in here. Uh, it shows up me as um, as Steven up online. So I'm I'm looking for your if you're here. Let me know you're here. Uh, 
let's get into this 1968 goodness. I hope everybody is holding up and staying quarantined. You know, what better way to kind of replace your sports with a little bit of a break? You got do this. That's better. Four, five, six. We have 10 boxes per case. These last two boxes are four to get. All right, we are good to go. We are good to go. Let's get this box out of here. We have 10 cases. Count them. 10 cases. So let's get this party started. What's up, David? I've got one. I can't see I can't see y'all's name on that one. Frank, what's up, buddy? John, what's going on, buddy? All right, let's go with box number one. This is 56 of 203. Of course, this is a bigger set. Now, just to give you an idea, uh, just to give you, we did change the rules a little bit on the on the multi cards. It will be the player to the uh, upper left or far left that will be the uh, belong to that team because there are several several multi player cards. A lot of them are just yeah, they're regular cards, but there might be like a I don't know, there might be uh, like a good ERA, uh, you know, with a good pitcher on there. But it does, it does belong. That way, it, I figured it would kind of, the guys with the good teams might get hits, but this might actually spread the hits out a little bit. Oh, by the way, uh, here's my skunk prize for today. It's, uh, it's a big roll of toilet paper. No, I'm just kidding. Actually, I was just thinking that would be kind of funny. Um, but uh, hopefully everybody gets a little bit of love this, this time. Uh, I think my first break, the Yankees really scored. I, I will definitely tag you next time. Nah, you know what? This is uh, 1968 has a lot of good products. So here we go with box number one. Let's see what we got. Oh, we're going to start off with a built bomb, baby. And I don't know what it is. I haven't looked at it yet. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We got we're gonna start off with some heat. And we always do. We always do. I'm gonna block this from view. I'm gonna block it from view. We're gonna put it up here. Because this is this is probably one of the biggest cards of the set. Um probably one of the biggest cards of the set. It is one of the biggest cards of the set. So we're up here. We're gonna we're gonna hide it because I, we're gonna go through uh, the regular cards first. Wow, this is a big card, huge card. Come on, baby. There we go. Ooh. Let's go. Let's go. This might be the hot case. This might be the hot case. All right. Let's start with card number one. N Card number one. This is this is probably the one of the best rookies you can get out of this this set. And I'll give you a hint. It's not it's not the Ryan. Card number one is Tony Clellinger for the Atlanta Braves. 
Wow, I'm shaking it so it's an awesome card. Somebody just may hit some major, major, major card, and I believe it's a high PSA as well. This is card number 93, and Tony Collinger was a really good pitcher, actually, for the Braves back in the day. Really good pitcher. Really good. Ooh, hey, hey, here we go. Probably one of the, be one of the better A's uh, players. We have, next, we have... Burt Campanaris. Burt Campanaris, not in great shape. Um, I don't know what it is about 1968, but man, 68 cards were hard. I don't I don't know if it was the stock that they used. That is card number 109. 109. I am not sure if it's the card stock. This definitely it's got crease. But definitely not a bad card at all. If you got uh, if you got the A's, the A's are going to who are the A's going to tonight? Do 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 athletics. I can't find you. Going to Jim Gerlone. Jim, not a bad card, buddy. Not bad at all for having the A's. That's probably one of the better cards to have. <laughs> um, next up. For the White Sox, we have Hoyt Wilhelm. Hoyt Wilhelm. And that is card number 350. Hoyt was a good pitcher back in the day that he was getting towards the end of his career in 68. Next, we have Ken Barry. Another white sock. And you know what? This card's actually in pretty good shape. For 68. Ken Berry, outfielder for the White Sox. Card number 485. 485. Next up, we have Roger Repose, outfielder for the Angels. Not, a, not in good shape either. Miscut, top to bottom. It is card number 587. 587. And we got to go with it. We got a little fifth bomb, Johnny Bench, 1968 Tops rookie. Woo! Near mint seven, card number 247. And the Reds are owned by Ryan Hudson. Congratulations, buddy. Congratulations, buddy. Wow, wow, wow. 1968. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous gorgeous card man look at that card it is in great shape you don't find sevens very often Woo! johnny bench rookie card ron Tompkins. he had a he had a great career too not not really but um what a great great card great freaking card that is a monster card and probably one of the best cards of the set Joe Boo, you, I hear you, buddy. I'm going to have to get Joe Boo an extra little piece of rum tonight. Man, that is, that is gorgeous, man. I'm done. I'm done. We're done. That's it. One box. I don't know if we can beat that one. I'm, yeah, well, we can, but uh, my goodness. Starting off just crazy tonight. All right, let's go. Let's go on to box number two. 18 of 203. Man, what a card. Johnny Bench rookie. Near Mint 7. Congrats, buddy.
All right, here we go. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Now, opening well, this is the third case I've opened here. So, and usually you get about you get about four or five really hot hits. Four or five really hot hits. Let's see. I don't think we have a whole lot going on in this. This no, we don't. All right, so let's go. Do a cord by cord here. Card my card. First up, we have for the White Sox, we have Jerry McKentry. Oh, we got a nice, nice uh, star coming up for the White Sox, Jerry McKentry. And that is card number 14. Jerry McKentry. Oh, actually, it's McNerdy. <laughs> McNerdy. Next up for the Reds again, we have, you know, I don't, I'd like to know, I don't know if it's his rookie card or not, but he was a good, he was a good, good star. Tony Perez. Tony Perez. Tony was a good, good player back in the day. Third baseman. Let's sleep. Let's hard sleep this guy. Tony Perez. That's a really, he's a really, you know, I wouldn't say he's a major star, but he was a minor star back in the day. Card number 130. Card number 130. him over here in the hard stack style. Next up, we have for the Houston Astros, Mike Collier. Really just don't know a whole lot about him. Mike Collier. And card number 274. Oh! And we got a little fifth bomb for the Milwaukee Brewers. Actually, I'm, or not Milwaukee Brewers, for the Atlanta Braves, we have Henry Aaron. Henry Aaron, 68 All-Star Selection. Wow. Not in great shape. Not in great shape, but hey. You know what? It's an Aaron card. It is card. Oh, this was a puzzle piece. It was a puzzle piece. So it's not numbered. It is not a regular card and set. But for the Atlanta, this is 68. The Braves had just, I believe they just had moved to Atlanta. It might be their first year or their first, their first year of being, having Atlanta Braves cards. Not in the best shape, but man, that's not bad. Not bad at all. And this one's going out to Ryan Hudson. So Ryan is raking. Ryan is raking right now. Ryan took a shot and took 10 spots. And right now it's paying off. He might have paid his, all his spots with that bench. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Not not bad. Two two uh two nice names in the first two boxes tonight. We have Dick Ellsworth for the Red Sox. And that is card number 406. Dick Ellsworth. We keep on doing this. We're going to have we're going to run out of room. Joe Boo's doing his job tonight. And next up for the Cleveland Indians, we have Duke Sims, catcher. And 
And this is card number 508. 508. All right, that's the end of box number two. But not bad when you're coming out with a Hank Aaron card. May not be the best Hank Aaron that's ever produced, but hey, you know what? I don't see that card a lot, actually. You don't see that card a lot. All right, we're going to do, oh, I like it. Box number 75 of 203. 75 of 203. Here we go. Let's see if we can keep the, the monster streak alive. Awesome. Yeah, it's two hundred it's a two hundred dollar card. Two hundred dollar card, thank you. Alright, here we go. On to the next box. Woo! Alright, that's not a bad card to start off with. Let's see if we have any hard cards. No, no hard cards. Let's pop this over here. Yeah, 68's been a six. Like I said, I might try to get another uh, another case. I'm not sure if this one's sold out or not yet. But 68 was a great, great, great. Here we do have. Uh, I've got some. I do have 69, and I believe I've got some more 59 and another 61. So we'll we'll get to those this week. Um, the first one. Um, the manager for the Yankees back in the day, and it's Ralph Houck. Ralph Houck. Not bad, not bad at all. Ralph Houck. And that is card number 47. Next up for the Oakland Athletics. Ooh, we got some We got Paul Lindblad. Paul Lindblad. And that is card number 127. We got a couple of rookie cards coming up. They weren't big rookies back in the day. The bench came through, Ryan. The bench came through, buddy. PSA, PSA eight, uh, 7, PSA 7. All right, we have the 1968 rookie stars of the Yankees, Stan Banson and Frank Fernandez. Obviously, they were not, uh, they were not the star. They didn't fulfill because I... It is card number 214. Card number 214. 1968 rookie stars for the Yankees. Next up for the Boston Red Sox, we have the 1918, 1968 rookie stars for them as well. And that is Bill Rohr and George Spriggs. And that is card number 314. 314. Next up for the Houston Astros, we have Lee Thomas. Lee Thomas. Check out the flat tops back in the day. First base for Houston. And that is card number 438. 438. Next up for the Chicago Cubs, we have Lee 
Elia. Lee Elia. And that is card number 561. That might have been a high numbered short print. All right, guys, that is box number three. We are going on to box number four. Ooh, this is box number 151 of 203. See, all right, that last box was well, you know, they all can't have superstars in them. They all can't have Aaron's and Mantles and. But I do like the way this box is. This box is easy to get in and out of. They might have had to put something back in here. They might have had to put something back in here. Let's go, let's go. We got some more rookie stars. There are lots of double photo cards in 68. Um, starting with the with the rookies. Alright, here we go. Let's see what we got. Maybe there's something in between here. All right, card number one, going to the Baltimore Orioles. We have Dave Leonard and Dave May. Dave May wasn't all that bad. He wound up being pretty good. This card's pretty bad. The edges are pretty bad. Dave Leonard and Dave May. And that is card number 56. Really? That's awesome. Okay, Lindsay, you're, you're the one with the Tigers. I'll, I'll remember that one if we get, uh, you know, who knows? We might, we might pull a, a Tiger. I forgot what the uh, Tigers are... Um, I know there's one or there's one or two good good guys on the Tigers, but all right. Next up, Don Notbart, Don Notbart, for the Cincinnati Reds. That card is in bad shape. That, that's a that that would probably rate rank at a one or a two. Tops number one seventy one. Tops number one seventy one. All right, here's a minor star. Here's a minor star going out to the Red Sox. Going out to the Red Sox. It is woo, George Scott for the Red Sox. And you know what? That card's not in bad shape. It's off center a little bit. George Scott. He was not a bad player back in the day. It's card number 233. Card number 233. I'm not wondering if that might not be his first tops card. Next up, I want to say this guy's in the Hall of Fame for the White Sox. And the White Sox are going out to Chicago, Chicago. Ryan Hudson, Luis Apricio. That's, a, that's really a nice hit. That is a nice hit. I, I think he's in the hall. I believe he is in the hall. That is card number 310. I'm going to go ahead and hard sleeve Luis because that is a nice card. Doesn't get the love that um, that that is a nice card and it's not in bad shape either. A little rough around the, the corners. Um, a little off center. 310, though. That's a nice card. Yeah, that's right. There's Denny McClain. I, I believe there's Al, Kal Al Kalon is still, uh, is still playing around, uh, Lindsay. Lindsey. 
Next up, we have for the Pittsburgh Pirates, we have Ron Klon. Ron Klon. Way off cut. That is car number 446. You can almost see the other car that was next to it. And next up, we have for the Washington Senators, Bernie Allen. Bernie Allen. Second base, third base. Utility infielder. For the Washington Senators. That is card number 548. 548. All right, guys, we are at the halfway point now. We're going to go on to box number five. Box number five is 37 of 203. Thirty-seven of two oh three. All right, not a bad box, Luis Aprecio. Honestly, like I said, he's. I you know, I somebody look him up. Is he in the hall? I'm pretty sure he's in the hall. Let's see what we have. Let's see what box number thirty-seven brings us. Good thing about these these repacks, man. There's really there's really not a whole lot of this stuff. So and they they've got it packed up. You can you can go look at uh, in my thing. Let's see what we got here. No, we don't have anything. All right. Um, you can go look at my uh, at the intro for uh, on on the on the, the post thread. It, it lists everything that's really big in here. And there, there's opportunities to, of course, pull bench and maze and uh, mantle. Maybe we'll pull a mantle. But there's, they, what they do is they put together two of these sets. So there's two of each card. We've actually hit two, two of the cards in one case before. All right, let's see. First up, we have Daryl Brandon for the Red Sox. Daryl Brandon. And that is card number 26. Next up, for the New York Giants, we have Frank Lindsay. Ooh, we got a good one coming up. We got a good one coming up. Another minor star, but I'm thinking he's in the hall. Frank Lindsay. And that is card number 147. 147. This next one is going to Jim Gerlone. And man, he is a god in Cub Country. And that is Ron Santo. Ron Santo. I know he is a he is a he is pretty heralded in Cub history. Miscut, but still not a bad card. It is card number 235 of the set. You know what? Let's go ahead and put Santo in a hard case. Ron Santo. They talk about him a lot on their uh, on the Cubs uh, broadcast. All right, next up we have a team card. We have a team card for the Orioles. That is actually wow. That team card is in really good shape. Really good shape. It's almost like a regular card came out of here. Out of the pack. That card's in such a good shape. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sleeve it, hard sleeve that one as well. Really awesome corners. That might be that might be a really I don't know, that looks really centered. 
and the corners are really sharp except for that corner right there. It is card number 334, but you can see on the back, yeah, it is a miscut. It's miscut on the bottom, but not bad, not bad, no, not, not a bad card. Not a bad card at all. Next up, for the Indians, we have Eddie Fisher. Eddie Fisher with his flat top. His 1968 flat top. And that is card number 418. I always thought Denny McLean looked like a Buddy Holly a little bit because he because of the glasses. Last card of the box is Gary Rogenberg. Gary Rogenberg for the Red Sox. I don't remember seeing his name in the Hall of Fame, but he was a pitcher. And card number five eighty one five eighty one. All right, guys. On to box number six. And box number six is 113 of 203. I like it. It's got 13 in there. This might be a good box. We had two really good, good boxes to start. And the last few have been kind of so-so. We need one more mega... Mega. We need we need some hard plastic cards. We need some we need some hard plastic. Hank Aaron's Mickey Mantle goodness. What do we got. I don't see anything. I don't see anything here. Good. Anything they just didn't sleeve up. There you go, Ryan. I appreciate it, buddy. You can you can check. Uh, you just you know what? If you want to come back later, you can just check the last I don't know two or three minutes of the video, and uh, you can go ahead and um, I'll have a hit recap. I will have a hit recap at the end. All right, first up for the New York Yankees, we have Jake Gibbs. Jake Gibbs. And that is card number 89. Catcher. Next up. For the Orioles, we have Eddie Watt. Eddie Watt. Oh, we got a good one. He, and we got a good one coming up. Another minor star coming up. And this was card number 186. It's not focusing. Focus tonight. Next up, oh, oh, we got a good one. We got a good one, man. Oh, yeah. This next one is Dave Johnson. And Dave Johnson was a great, I mean, he was, a, he was an okay player, but a really good coach, actually. I remember when he coached the, I believe he was coaching the Mets there. He bounced around, bounced around a little bit. But that might, I'm not sure if that's his uh, rookie card. I don't, it might be. No, he was in Baltimore for a little while. But Davey Johnson. That's right. The uh, All right, we're going to go from the back because we got, we get, we do have a big star coming up. Just wasn't, it just wasn't hard to leave. I don't know why. 
Next up, we have Don Shaw for the New York Mets. Don Shaw. And that was card number 521. Next up, we have, for the Baltimore Orioles, we have Dave McNally. Dave McNally. And that is card number 478. Next up, we got a little filth bomb. We got a little Roberto Clemente, outfielder, Pittsburgh Pirates. And this one is going to Dave McSheffrey. There you go, buddy. There you go. Woo, come on. There you go. We got a little Roberto. Not, not, let's see. Let's get this baby in here. There we go. Roberto Clemente, National League outfielder, all-star selection. This is, again, it was part of a puzzle. And if you got all the all-star selections, and I think, I want to say it might even be the Roberto Clemente card. Wow. That would be a cool set to put together, actually. That would be a cool set. Let's let's get Roberto out on the stand. Let's get Roberto out there. Roberto Clemente. Nice. All right. Let me get Roberto out here. Put him up here. Oh. Oh, Roberto. There you go, buddy. There you go. All right. Let's on to box number. This is box number seven. And this is 132 of 203. Congratulations, Dave. Those 68 All-Star Selection cards. I wonder if that's um, that's National League. They're both National League. That would be a cool uh, set to put together. To see what the uh, see what the puzzle was in the back. All right, here we go. Not bad. Not bad. Oh. oh, oh. Okay. Let's see what we got. Oh, we have a hard card? No. Alright, let's put this over. Oh. Cool. Alright, hey, now I'm going to start it off with a little, little Atlanta Braves rookie stars. We have Ron Reed and Jim Britton. Ron Reed and Jim Britton. Atlanta Braves rookie stars. Ron Reed was not too bad. Not sure. That might be Zach Britton's dad. You never know, actually. And that is card number 79. 79. Oh, 76. My bad. Time to get my glasses back. Time to get my glasses back here. Next up. Ooh, well, this isn't bad. It's a checklist, but it has Carl Yastrzemski on it. So this one will go to the Red Sox. This one will go to the Red Sox. And I'm not sure how 
the check I know in some years checklists are worth more this was card number this is card number 192 so it was probably card number 192 through what uh, Larry Brown this is uh, I mean they don't do this anymore but it is a Carl Yastrzemski um, checklist so I'm gonna put that in that's going off to uh, that's going off to Ryan Carl Yastrzemski not bad not bad uh Mike no you know what I probably we have we've had some Mets but nothing not not nothing big yet nothing big um oh, 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 oh hello we do have a we have a, another major minor star coming up we've got Bill Dillman for the Baltimore Orioles you haven't hit the hit the big card yet there Mike that's card number 466. Card number 466. There we go. Next up for the Cleveland Indians, we have Willie Smith. And that is card number 568. Next up for the Red Sox, we have David Moorhead. David Moorhead. And that is card number 212. All right, guys. For the St. Louis Cardinals and Ryan Hudson, of course, he was a little out of his prime by this time. We have Roger Maris. And he had, oh, it's, yeah, no wonder if they didn't sleeve it up. Not in good shape. Lots of, uh, Lots of damage to the card. There's a crease going running down the middle. You really can't see it in the picture, but Roger Maris and Roger had come back home to Kansas City or uh, to back to St. Louis because it was closer to where he lived after being a Yankee. And that is card number three. 30. 3.30. You know what, though? Roger deserves a, a spot. Roger deserves a spot. Let's get Roger in here. All right, and that's the end of box number seven. Let's go. Let's go. Next up, we have box number 170 of 203. they've been hard sleeving some of the major hits so don't see any hard sleeves in this Dodgers. We have Al Ferreira. Al Ferreira. Let 
That is card number 34. 34, Al Ferreira. Oh, we got next, we have for the St. Louis Cardinals, and St. Louis is owned by Ryan Hudson. We have an insert card back in the day. Brock Sox, four hits and opener. Lou Brock. So that's not a bad card. Hard sleeve Lou Brock up. There we go. Brock Sox, four hits and opener. That is card number 151. Nice card. Nice card. We can get it in our hard card set. All right, next up for the New York Mets, we have Cleon Jones. Cleon Jones. And that is card number 254. Ooh, here's another minor star. For those Pittsburgh Pirates and Dave McSheffrey, we have a nice Bill Mazeroski. Bill Mazeroski. And you know what? He was, he was a pretty good hitter in the day. Second baseman. This is card number 390. Mazeroski gets. And that's actually, that card's in not bad shape. Bill Mazeroski. That's in a good looking card right there, actually. A little off center, but not bad on the edges. Card number 390. Nice hit. That was a nice hit. Next up, we have Hank Allen for the outfielder. Outfield Senators. Hank Allen. Outfield for the Washington Senators. For a second there, I thought when I saw Hank, I was like, Hank Aaron? Oh, yeah. That was card number 426. And lastly, going out to Lindsay, we have the Detroit Tigers checklist card. The Detroit Tigers checklist card. Although it wasn't very good, um, the pickles, pixels weren't all that great back in the day. You can't really make out the players. All right, that is the end of box number seven. All right, my bad, eight. We have two boxes left. We are now on, let's see, box 95 of 203. So here we go. Let's get one more major big guy. Let's see, let's see. I'd like to see a man or... There's a lot. Of, there's a lot of good, good major stars back in '68. Let's see an Aaron flop out. Another Aaron. Clemente. Although we've seen, we've got, we've got a nice little collection of of good major stars here. We got another checklist card. You know what? I don't even know who this guy is. I really don't. But it is for the minute that goes to the Minnesota Twins. I'm not sure who he is. There's no name on it. 
though, it is the first checklist in the series. Because it starts off with, um, it starts off with uh, check uh, number one card. It is card number 67. And let's see, checklist first series, but this still doesn't say who it is. I'm not sure who it is. If anybody knows who that is, well, let me know. Next up, we have for the Red Sox, Dalton Jones. Dalton Jones. And that is card number 106. Card number 106. The next one up is for the, he's a manager for the Cardinals. And a good, good, good uh, player back in his day, Red Shandies. Red Shandies. You see a lot of Red Shandies stuff in um, in uh, Panini stuff, like their uh, National Treasures and stuff like that. Red Shandies. What's up, Sean? What's going on, buddy? Next up for the Atlanta Braves. Hank Aaron's brother, Tommy Aaron. Tommy Aaron. Didn't quite hit as many home runs. It's card number 394. 394. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I try. I try. Next up for the Athletics, Woo. we got a decent decent card coming up. We have Lou Krause. Lou Krause. You know, Lou actually wasn't all that bad of a pitcher back in the day. He was just a. He was kind of like the. I don't know. I'm trying to think. Probably like the Corey Kluber back then. Number four fifty eight. Four fifty eight. Yes, we do. Me, myself, and I, Mr. Sean. Next up, and you guys will recognize the name because his son is a really good player. But we have, for the White Sox, Sandy Alomar. Sandy Alomar. And, of course, Sandy Alomar Jr., that is his son. It wound up going to be a really good player. 541 is the card number. All right, guys, we are down to our final box. We are down to our final box. It would really be awesome if we saw, like, just one more good, big, nasty hit. Woo. Well, we're close to the end, so we are at 189 of 203. Good luck, everyone. The final box is now. Here we go. All right. Let's see. Come on, Joe Boo. Ooh, yeah, that's a nice card. That is a nice card. Uh-oh, we got it. We got a hard one. Awesome. We are going to end it on a bang, guys. We are going to end it on a bang. I don't even know who it is, and I don't want to know. Ho, 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 Woo, boy. We got one of the big ones. We got one of the big ones. All right. And this is not a bad card either. It wound up, it's going to go to, uh, it's going to go to Boston because it's the first player to the right or first player to the left. It's Carl Yastrzemski, but it's the 1967 home run leaders. Carl Yastrzemski, Harmon Kilber, and that, that's who the card was. 
So somebody got the the that's Car Harmon Killebrew. That's the same. That's the twin that was on the uh, checklist. That is going to the Twins. This one is going to the Red Sox. Can't believe that Hank Aaron's not on that card. Well, no, that's the American League. So, yeah, he was in the National. And that is card number six. Card number six. Was it Jim Cott? Uh, he was a good he was a good pitcher too. He was a good pitcher back in the day as well. All right, next up for the uh, Los Angeles Dodgers, we have a National League check uh, checklist card, uh, team player card. And that is 1967 uh, number 168, 168. Next up for the Baltimore Orioles, we have Pete Reichert. Pete Reichert. And that is card number 354. Next up for the Pittsburgh Pirates, we have Steve Blass. Steve Blass. And he was card number 499. That might be a high number, a short print. 499, come on. Next up, uh, I gotta I gotta hide this card real quick. Hold on. I'm going to hide this one so you guys can't see it. Next up, Johnny Odom. Johnny Odom for the o Oakland Athletics. Johnny Odom, number 501. And last but not least, going off to the Mets and Mike Wagger. We got a little the bomb Tom Seaver rookie card pitcher for the Mets. This is card number 45. Woo! There you go, buddy. That's a nice way to end the night. That's a nice way to end the night. It's not the best shape. It really rounded around the uh, the edges, but and it's not the Mets pitcher that you want. But it, it is a Seaver. It is a Seaver, nonetheless. So let's pop him over here. Let's do a little hit recap and send you guys on your way. I really appreciate you guys. Um, man, this thing filled like so quickly. Uh, I was trying to do one one break every two weeks, but you know, we might do, we'll, we'll see about maybe doing some more. Let's go uh, over the hard cards first. The, the minor stars. First we have Bill Mazeroski for the Pirates. We have Lou Brock for the World Series uh, um, insert card for the Cardinals. We have Carl Yastrzemski, the third series checklist. We have Ron Santo for the Cubs. We have Luis Apricio for the White Sox. And then we have Tony Perez for the Reds. So a lot more uh, minor stars tonight. But, you know, these guys are... Um, some of them in their Hall of Fame, some of them are not, uh, but they were just kind of their, the good players of the day. Let's start off with the Roger Maris. Roger Maris, it was card number 330, well past his prime at the time. 
back with the Cards after being uh, with the Yankees. Uh, next, we have Hank Aaron. Hank Aaron, All Star, sixty eight All Star selection. Card's not in great shape, but still, it doesn't matter to me. Oh, you know what? It, it does have a number on there. It's card number three seventy. 370. So Hank Aaron, 68 All Star selection for the Atlanta Braves. Next, we have uh, Roberto Clemente, and that is card number 374 for the Pittsburgh Pirates. And next, we have Tom Seaver, rookie card for the Mets. Not the Mets rookie that we were looking for, card number 45. And then the hit of the break, the big, big time, the Joe Boo, the Joe Boo card. We have Johnny Bench. That is PSA near mint seven. Probably worth two, three, three fifty, possibly. I mean, great shape. Great shape. Card number through 247. Um, congrats on the red spot guys it's been a pleasure thanks for breaking with me here on filth on breaks and until the next time we'll see you on the flip side hey this is world series champion johnny damon this is world series champion cliff floyd this is kevin newman of the pittsburgh pirates this is a world series champion Ozzy Gear. this is carlos pena 14 year MLB veteran. This is two-time NL MVP Dale Murphy of the Atlanta Braves. This is John Clowney, pitcher with the Arizona Diamondbacks. This is World Series champion Joe Musgrove. This is Jordan Luplo of the Cleveland Indians. This is Let's Go Jimmy Houston Astros. This up is Zay Jones of the Buffalo Bills. It's Todd Lockett of the Seattle Seahawks. It's Hunter Henry of the LA Chargers. This is Lincoln Seiko. And when I'm not on the field catching bombs from Russell Wilson. When I'm not on the field catching bombs. When I'm not on the field catching bombs. When I'm not on the field hitting bombs. I'm watching my guys over at Phil Fox. Filth bomb, filth bomb, filth bomb, filth bomb, filth bomb, filth bomb, filth bomb breaks off those nasty, 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 nasty filth bomb. I know a thing or two about hitting some bombs, fellas, but there's nothing quite like hitting a filth bomb with my guys over at Filth Bomb Breaks. Filth bomb, filth bomb, Mike Trout 101 Auto. MVP breakers, MVP prices. Keep those spill bombs coming, and I'll keep those World Series coming. Thanks for making baseball cards fun again. Thanks for making baseball cards fun again, guys. Go Bucks. Thanks for making collecting cards fun again for the kids and for all of us old-timers as well. The way to make baseball cards fun again, guys. Keep pulling those nasty spill bombs. And pull me a Jose Canseco Super Fractor. And hit me a West Coast Super Fractor. Go Astros. Please pull me a Pony Super Fractor. How about you go pull me a Jordan Luplo Super Fractor?